Okay, welcome back to the series on migrating from MQL4 to MQL5, Guidance for Algorithmic Traders. If you've been following along from the beginning, we got started discussing a few differences, key differences between the platforms themselves, and then went on to our first tutorial where we talked about how to get OHLCV as well as bid and ask prices in MQL5 compared to MQL4. In continuation today, we're going to discuss how to access symbol-related information in MQL5, and we'll go through some of the precursory functions that have been available in MQL4 so far that are being actively used by developers and how to move from market info to the symbol info functions that are available in both MQL4 and MQL5. If you're wondering uh, why we're doing this, is that eventually we want to take a stock MQL4 EA that is shipped with MetaTrader 4. I'll just flip over to that screen now to show you what that looks like. It's this here that is available, that is installed alongside your MetaTrader 4 platform whenever you download a new instance and install. And what we're going to do is structure these videos such that we discuss all the necessary uh, functions, the changes, properties, etc., that are necessary in order for us to convert this stock EA that ships with MetaTrader 4 into a MetaTrader 5 compatible EA. Now, this EA is available in MetaTrader 5 uh, in an MQL5 version, but the whole idea here is to educate traders on how to take an, an MQL4 EA and convert it into an MQL5 EA for which we need to understand the inherent concepts and how to apply them in MQL5. So in case you have been wondering why we're structuring videos the way we are, and this is the reason we want to eventually get to a level in the next few videos where we know enough to go about starting the process of converting an MQL4 EA into an MQL5 EA. So please make sure that you watch the videos in their entirety from start to finish and follow along in the in the order that we're publishing them in. And uh, we'll get to these fun vi videos later where we do the actual conversions from one platform to the other in terms of programming language. So let's go back to our presentation now. So MQL4 has market info and market info takes a few parameters that we'll discuss here shortly. It also contains symbol info string, symbol info double, and symbol info integer. Both MQL4 and MQL5 have these functions and both have exactly the same variations in terms of the number of arguments, the overloads that they take, etc. So there's no difference between the functions as far as MQL4 and MQL5 are concerned. However, the number of properties and consequently values that MQL5 takes are larger in number compared to MQL4 and we'll go through those differences. Hence the asterisks supporting additional properties for each output type, string, double and integer. Before we go on to the symbol info functions, uh, it makes sense to do a quick recap of market info if you've been using it so far or haven't and it's the first time you're seeing this, it would be good to just know what market info actually is. A market info is the standard function available in MQL4 whereby you can specify some predefined types whereby you can get information. Those types include um, the low, high price, bid ask price, time, uh, point values, the number of digits supported by the symbol, spread, stop level, lot size, in the base currency, tick value, tick size, et cetera, et cetera. You've got long swap, short swap, starting, expiration, et cetera, all the way through to the end. Now, these properties are not supported by the, not all of these properties are supported by the symbol info function. Having said that, though, they are extended in the symbol info functions whereby you have a lot more flexibility in the, not only the data you can access, but how you can access it. And the symbol info functions are available to both MQL4 and MQL5, but as I mentioned earlier, MQL5 supports additional properties, both of which we'll be discussing today. Those supported by MetaTrader 4 and those supported by MetaTrader 5. Some example code on how to access market info properties is available on our GitHub page. This is not proprietary. It has been taken for your convenience from the MQL4 documentation and is documented as is with the credit reference therein to MQL4.com. This source code is available in the MQL to MQL, MQL4 to MQL5 tutorials repository on our GitHub profile and can be accessed at any time. So if you fancy downloading and running it, then this code can be run as is, has been deployed and tested. So it gives you a quick overview of all the properties, what they look like and what their outputs are when you run them in MQL4. Now moving on to the symbol info functions that are common to both MQL4 and MQL5, we'll start with the string variants. 
There are two variants of each function we'll discuss today. We'll be discussing symbol info string, symbol info double, and symbol info integer. With symbol info string, you have two arguments uh, for the first variant, which are name and the property identifier, and for the second variant, which instead of returning the string, it accepts a placeholder whereby a string can be copied to that placeholder. Those are two, the two variants that you have for each of the function types, for each of the three data types, string, integer, and double. In the case of the symbol info string, the property identification is through an enumeration called enum symbol info string. And the properties that are supported in MQL4 for these functions are the symbol currency base, profit, margin, description, symbol path, and for MQL5, all properties that are available in MQL4 are supported by MQL5, but there are some additional properties that are not available to you in MQL4 that could be of use depending on the assets you're trading in MQL5. These include the symbol underscore basis, bank formula, the international securities identification number, the page, the web page con containing symbol information, etc. We've written some example code that uh, extracts these values for you and prints them to your experts tab. This code is also available in the MQL4 to MQL5 tutorials repository on our GitHub profile, github.com forward slash DarwinX. Now to move on to the double variant of the symbol info functions, symbol info double, as you can see, has exactly the same layout, same structure. You have your name and property identifier, the name of the symbol. And it has its own uh, property identifiers available to you through the enumeration enum symbol info double. In terms of properties supported by MQL4, you have the usual bid, ask, point, trade tick value, trade tick size, contract size, the distribution of volume, min, max, and step, long swap, long short, um, long swap, short swap, initial margin, margin maintenance values if set by the broker, etc. Um, and in MQL5, all values that you see in yellow that we saw earlier in MQL4 are all supported by MQL5, but there, are, there is a substantially larger number of values, property identifiers that are supported by MQL5 compared to MQL4. And why this matters is that there may be some level of flexibility that you may need to employ in your strategy development that is currently not possible in MQL4, but becomes possible in MQL5 through the availability of these additional property identifiers. These include bid high, bid low, ask high, ask low, last high and low, volume prices, option strike point, trade tick value, trade tick value profit, tick sizes as available in MQL4. Then you have accrued interest, face value. These are the initial bond value set by the issuer in case that instrument is available to you, etc. Um, and these properties, once again, not only allow you to deal to additional instruments that are not possible to to have in, in MetaTrader 4, but also allow you to be more flexible in the way you uh, structure your code, in the logic you draft in order to use, uh, in order to develop your trading strategy. Same as the case here, we have some additional uh, properties, property identifiers supported by MQL5 here, such as session volume, session turnover, open interest, buy orders volume, etc. All of these properties have values that are available to you depending on the underlying asset. So as in when you deploy these in your trading strategy, you'll need to make sure that the assets you're dealing with have consequent values supported by these property identifiers in the first place. But the moral of the story is that due to the presence of these additional property identifiers in MQL5, you're able to, to incorporate additional flexibility into your trading strategy uh, development. And as a result, you can uh, deal to additional use cases that previously weren't possible to support in MQL4. Uh, again, as before, we've written some sample, uh, sample code here that is available via the MQL4 to MQL5 tutorials repository on github.com forward slash DarwinX. And again, this is very simple code that simply prints out the values uh, of the property identifiers through this function, depending on which symbol you've deployed it to. And the expert advisor is available on GitHub for you to download and test for yourself. 
The third function in this series is symbol info integer. Now again, this is available in both MQL4 and MQL5 in exactly these two variants. You have the string, which is the name of the symbol you're deploying the expert advisor or indicator on. You have enum symbol info integer, which is the enumeration containing the property identifiers for this particular function. And there are two variations of two variants of this function, one that returns the value and the other that copies the value into a placeholder that you specify specify in the function arguments. In terms of values available, property identifiers available to you in MQL4 through this function, these include symbol select, symbol visible, time, digits, floating spread, trading uh, trade calculation mode, etc., trade stops level, freeze level, execution mode, uh, swap mode, and the rollover three-day values. In MQL5, you have some additional uh, property identifiers available to you that may or may not assist you in your particular trading strategy development, but they are there in case a use case comes up or any particular development is necessary, whereby had you been restricted to MQL4, the uh, non-availability of these values may have hindered your strategy development. These include the custom symbol specification, some charting background related values here, um, checking whether the symbol with a certain name exists or not. The values colored in yellow over here are available in uh, MQL4 as well as MQL5 variants of this function. The additional types also include session deals, buy orders, volumes, distribution of volume in terms of low and high, time of the last update, digits, floating spread, etc. There's one additional um, property identifier here called symbol underscore ticks underscore book depth, which is the maximal number of requests shown in the depth of market view in MetaTrader 5. For symbols that have no queue of requests, the value is always going to be zero. And the other values, as you can see over here, include the calculation mode, starting and expiration times, stop levels, freeze levels, execution modes, and swap related property identifiers that are common to both MQL4 and MQL5. Same as the case uh, before, we've done some sample code here for you that uh, prints out the values of these property identifiers using the symbol info integer function. And this will depend on the symbol that you have deployed this sample code to, this sample expert advisor to. So bear that in mind. You can experiment with various different symbols from different asset classes, depending on what type of account you've opened um, that involves MetaTrader 5. Now, coming back to the moving average stock expert advisor that we saw earlier on that ships directly with MetaTrader 4, this expert advisor is a good example of where to, where to start and employ all these different pieces of knowledge that we're learning about the differences between MQL4 and MQL5. What we'll do in uh, future tutorials is take this as our benchmark and learn all that is necessary based on what we see is uh, constitutes part of this code, learn all those concepts, their implementations, the differences in implementation between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, and then have the knowledge necessary for us to line by line go ahead and make the changes so that we make our MQL4 EA turn into an MQL5 EA while preserving all the logic and construction of the expert advisor itself. In this particular EA's case, you have a few functions that have been pre-written for us. These include calculate current orders, a lots optimization function that takes a look at the account free margin. We'll take a look at account free margin in future videos, therefore, whereby we'll note the differences between how you access account free margin in MQL4 versus MQL5. We'll go ahead and look at order selection, uh, how, to, how to retrieve profit values, how to normalize, etc. We'll also, as you can see over here, we have a check for open function. Because this is a moving average expert advisor, it's relying on a built-in indicator called IMA. We'll also take a look at the differences uh, between how to access indicator values in MQL4 compared to MQL5 and all the um, any additional work that we need to do in order to achieve that. There is an order send function over here, same as the case with selection and magic numbers later on, on and the order close function later on to, to implement the exit strategy logic, things like this. We've already covered in the OHLCV and bid ask videos, the predefined arrays and predefined variables, open, close, bid and ask. And in future videos, 
we'll be looking at how to put all this information together over here, do the necessary conversion in terms of code, and um, go ahead and transform uh, a stock MQL4 EA into an MQL5 EA. If you're wondering what the execution looks like for the pieces of code that we've shown you here in this presentation, then this is the MQL4 underscore symbol information underscore tests EA, which essentially does a copy paste of the examples available on market info at mql4.com. And for the MQL5 version, we've taken all the property identifiers that we talked about today and um, done uh, an example here for you, whereby each property identifier's value can be printed to your experts tab. Uh, and it follows the order of symbol info string function first, uh, double next and integer last. You can then examine per asset that you deploy this to on what these values look like and how they change depending on the, uh, the symbol in question. So if it's an FX symbol or a CFD symbol or an exchange traded symbol, these values will alter accordingly depending on the specification of the symbol. And that's it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this presentation and we've talked about today, we've talked about the differences between accessing symbol information between MQL4 and MQL5. We've gone through and discussed market info, which is the standard implementation in MQL4 that people have been used to, developers have been used to so far. Symbol info, string, double and integer are functions that are common to both MQL4 and MQL5 in their entirety. So they have the same arguments, structure and provisions, what they provide you, with the exception that MQL5 has greatly larger number of property identifiers that you can use. And why that's important is that if there are use cases or additional strategy logic that previously wasn't possible or was inconvenient to implement in MQL4, that possibility has been made easier and more convenient in MQL5 through the availability of these additional property identifiers. In future videos, as I mentioned earlier on, we'll take a stocky EA uh, that is installed alongside your MetaTrader 4 platform when you install it and uh, learn all the concepts necessary, a few of which we've already learned so far, including access to prices and access to symbol data, uh, and add on a few uh, additional concepts to allow us to take that stock EA and convert it into an MQL5 compliant EA and run it such that all the necessary logic and structure of the expert advisor is preserved, but we have been able to successfully convert it from MQL4 to MQL5 as easily as possible. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.